Hello everyone, welcome to the 9th episode of Let's Play Monster Hunter Freedom Free. Today we'll finally up the big leagues where we're facing the Raytheon on this urgent quest. Now, as for what I'm wearing, I am use a special ring for 5 resist up, which raises it from minus 20 to minus 15, which is preposterous. Uh, medicine, which, hey, since I have medicine I should buy some herbs. Uh, it inc increases the health regeneration of of uh, herbs and makes antidote herbs always seal poison instead of just getting a small chance. As for the rest of my items, I'm bringing flash bombs, dung bombs, and other stuff. Uh, as for guidance, no idea. Knockout is only for weapons such as such as hammer. As for my equipment, jaggy fall and a chain blade upgraded. Now I'm expecting hard fight so skip screen. Okay and we're back ready for some action. I know I am but let, let me level with you guys. Every time I record an episode I'm already planning the next one and this one wasn't expected because like some of you know other than the quest, quest the Elder gives us there are also the guild, the guild quests, which are slightly harder, but they give you more supply items at the beginning. For example, instead of giving two rash, no, three rations, they give you, they give you eight, and they give you twelve uh, first aid mats. That's it. But this time, um, has has the, like I said, the guild quests usually follow the same order. However, in the guild quest, the next opponent was supposed to be the Giginox, so I was already ready for it. Looks like it'll be the next episode, I hope, since I'm already ready to fight it. But instead, I ended up fight having a Raytheon on the list. So I'm gonna fight the Raytheon, then go for the Giginox. Now, this is my episode using the longsword. It's usually the most used weapon and easiest to use in the entire Monster Hunter. And finally the cinematic. Don't steal its eggs. Don't steal its eggs! Don't you know what happens if you try to steal a Raytheon egg? It comes after you. Really, do not do not try to steal a Raytheon egg. It will always come after you. Man. I hope it moves just like Monster Hunter 3 and Freedom Unite. Ah! Roar. Yeah, yeah. Damn it. Come here. Gonna hit you in the tail. Okay, looks like this one is a bit tall since it. Now I hate when it, when it when she does that. Raisins or she? Yes. Got the full spirit gosh. Using a long sword is usually very simple although it has suffered changes from uh, freedom unite to three and then here every single one of the games the long sword is slightly different for example this in you have when you use this attack it consumes just like in freedom unite but you also have this the gosh the other gosh like in three ah, no <laughs> damn it mr tell Yes. Uh, I think this one's too tall. <laughs> I'm not hitting his tail, am I? No, no. That that's it. Don't come after me. Okay. I I hate when she, when she does that. It's usually the most annoying move she has, since. It's not always not also not I. It deals a lot of damage, makes you poison, and at the same time gives you knockout and get away from there. <laughs> I have minus 15 fire resist. I cannot risk getting hit by fire and this at this rate. Okay, she's trying to hit me with her special move, which is why I brought the dung bombs. I hope. I don't get hit with it, but if I get hit with it, it'll be a nice opportunity to show you what to do in that situation. Ah, damn it! I want, I want your tail! 
Okay. I think I think she hasn't been able. Ah, I wanted to slip past her two legs. Not a nice chance for healing. Come here. Take this. Okay, not really what I wanted. Not a nice chance. Damn it! <laughs> that certainly dealt a lot of damage. Okay. Fires out. I can return to the battle. Go Spartacus! Yeah, my god, just compiling it down. Can't say I didn't see that one coming. Come on, come on. Whoa! Watch out! Other monsters live here, you know. Ah, damn it! Missed it. Tail, tail, tail. I wanna hit the tail. Now, as for the Raven, she has four breaks. The first one's the tail. The other two are each of the wings, which didn't really take a lot of damage for them to break. The last one is the head, which usually drops the rarest item. That's a move I do not want to get hit by. Okay, <laughs> my cats, my cats keep getting hit by it. No. It's hard to see in here. Ah. Hope she's going to the better place. And just take this opportunity. Oh crap, forgot painted. Yay, shadow for the win. Maybe I'll use the flash bomb. Um, in my opinion, the best way to defeat Rafin in Rafalos is using a hammer. However, I already did the hammer episode and don't want to repeat it. You should, if you using that method, you should just flash him then start hitting him, you can get even get the double flash which is... no, not double flash it's when they're flashed at the same time they're on the ground because of the knockout effect now every monster reacts differently when flashed that's basically the most annoying thing she can do while flashed yes! tail drop Damn it! She recovered. Oh crap, my god. Damn it! <laughs> Wait, is this water? Yes. If we're in water, one jump is enough to lay it all down. Wait, something broke. One of the wings, I believe. Yes! Ah, I didn't have enough gauge. The outer guard goes from white, then yellow, then red. If it's in red, it's really the boots very fast actually. In red, uh, it's usually easy to keep it above yellow. However, it's not seem to be. It doesn't seem to be easy n right now. Get away from me! Gotcha! Gotcha! Right? White gosh! I think I broke her head already. Did I? Or did I not? That's it! Keep taunting! Yellow! Oh great, she's dragging. Let me see just how long the video is already. 
something above 10 minutes, so nice. I'm gonna be able to keep it below the line. My tranquilizing guru already tells me she's weak. Where she's going? Where is she going? Area 8 again. Well, I'm gonna use my last force aid mat just in case. Where are my cats? Damn it, both fainted. What do I have to break? The wing. Yeah, this wing right here. Done. Alright. No, wait. I think I'm missing the head. The head hasn't broken yet. <laughs> Never go head on against the monster unless you're suicidal like me. Okay, that was uncomfortable. Do something Invictus, don't just stand there! Crap. Okay, now time for me to show you what the Dung Bomb is for! Take that, stupid! <laughs> if he had continued that attack, he would slowly eat down my health. Then he would actually do the backflip and fireball on me. No. Yeah, backflip and fireball, instead of hitting me with the tail and poisoning me, I would just be on fire and it would deal a lot of damage, as people playing most on the tree should know. Oh, also one of the side effects of the Dong Bomb is it causes him to flee and reduces his stamina, which means he does his attacks are less mean, in a way. For example, a bear with low stamina cannot rampage. And we're done. Didn't think it would be th this easy. Okay, let's just see what we got here. When I played Monster Hunter Free Night, the Raytheon armor was actually the first one I actually enjoyed. Here I am actually trying to use the Kuru or something, the last beast I had it. I'm trying to get his armor. It's not being easy, a couple of days isn't really enough. As yeah, so for one thing I keep forgetting to mention is, right now I have just about uh, 28 hours of gameplay. Go Spartacus! <laughs> nice one Spartacus, this is your reward. Oh sorry Invictus, you got hit by that too. Get down! Get down! No, oh no, you're not blocking me! Damn it. Well folks, this is it for today's episode. See you in a couple of days. As for the reward, let's just see what we got here. Raytheon webbing, nice. Raytheon spikes, nice. Not really much. Now for more updates, yeah. That's all folks, goodbye now.